But first, Glenda has been out to take a drive in a car that only a few years ago would have had you cowering under the dashboard for fear of being recognised. That's right, Richard. And as Lexus are going from strength to strength, so too are Skoda. It's not long ago that a Skoda with a twin exhaust was a wheelbarrow and a Skoda with a sunroof was a skip. But all that is set to change as I'm stood next to the car that is about to rival the Audi A4 and the VW Passat. This is the new Skoda Superb. I'm now with Cathy Bell from Skoda UK. Now, Cathy, is this car superb? You bet it is. <laughs> it's a great car. It's brand new and it is, in fact, a superb car. We're very proud of it. Now, it is a break with recent tradition for Skoda, isn't it? It is, but it's not a break. It's a return to our tradition. Um, we've been making large saloon cars in the luxury class from the 20s and 30s and 40s, and that's where the name comes from. And so it's a return to that tradition that Skoda was very good at. And, and this car has got a lot of luxurious and quite technical extras available, hasn't it? Yes, it does. It's got quite a few things that are designed for, specifically for driving comfort and for comfort of the passengers. There's an extraordinary amount of rear passenger space, rear leg room, so it's quite comfortable for people. Yeah, so it is. I heard that it was a stretched Passat floor pan, is that correct? It is, it's based on a stretched Passat platform, so it's actually longer than a Passat. Um, and it's been designed and engineered from the ground up by the people in Skoda in the Czech Republic. Any other um, sort of similarities with the Passat, or does it stop there? Um, it, it truly is a Skoda. It, um, it, like I said, has been designed from the start by the Czech engineers and built in Milada Boleslav in the factory there. And who is the car aimed at? It's aimed at, in the UK, at the um, family market and the executive um, car driver market. So there's quite a, a good range for it and it's a segment that we haven't been in in the UK. And when are we going to be able to see this car on the roads in the UK? Um, it'll be late spring, or early, early summer next year, so May or June of 2002. And just before you think that Skoda have got ideas up of their station calling their new car superb, this is actually the Mark II Superb. And the first one was launched in 1934. So there, 